Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. This is a must watch read. We have the lovers again in the middle of the read, all right? This is unprecedented for me. These reads don't come out back to back like this. This is another amazing read. It is just for the Divine Masculine Twin Flames today. But again, the Masculine within both the Divine Masculine and Feminine, so it applies to everyone. It is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you, and hopefully another reading will be. Um, it is specific to Twin Flames, so if you're not a Twin Flame, it may not resonate with you, and that's okay. So just take that into consideration. If it Don't force it to fit. If it fits, it fits, okay? So there's lots of information in the read. It's for lots of different people. So let's just take what fits and leave the rest, okay? I did not sleep a wink last night, and not because of anything bad. I just never went to sleep, and then by the time I was even thinking about going to my room, it was, you know, it was already 4 o'clock, so I'm like, oh. So I never went to bed. I got all my bills done <laughs> and some reconciliations. I, I, I couldn't believe how much I actually got done on no sleep this morning. So that's where I am in a very good mood and a very good space. This read was just really beautiful. So here goes, you guys. I do have the 12 cards for all 12 signs after the Divine Masculine read. And it definitely lines up with the end of the Divine Masculine read, okay? And uh, as a hint, it is the Knight of Cups, okay? That's the last card in the read. And it's the, the card down here at the end of the read here as well. Okay, it is September 24, 2019. 24 is the Queen of Wands. It's also that six of love, family, and community. It's also the last uh, letter of the, al the Greek alphabet. The Omega. But again, very much the love, family, and community, the practical love, okay? And being creative and expansion, physical, active, um, you know, liking that raw energy where you like to shine your light, you know? The, the people who like to work out and show their bodies is because they love themselves. Then we have the day adding up to the 45, which is that five of cups, which can be a grieving card, but also can be getting over that, any loss, feeling sorry for yourself, or regret, shame, guilt, all of that stuff goes with that card. But it's letting go of that third baton, whether you go to the end of the race, the fourth leg, or you go back home to start all over again, it doesn't matter. Just It's making that decision at the Y in the road. So that's really what it's about today. The Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups. It is Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. And it's very sunny and beautiful here today. Okay, the new moon is coming up on the 28th. It's at uh, 226 here on the East Coast. 226 p.m. on the 28th. 28 is the Twin Flames. It's the Two of Wands. So very fitting there in the Libra energy. And as we get into this read, the Syrian Star Seed deck, which is the main deck, the big cards, was cut at 9-11. <laughs> and I never slept, but when I first started writing my notes, it was at 848, which is the strength card, which is significant in the read today, as well as that eight of cups, you know, walking away and going within. Uh, especially if you've been up all night and you haven't slept. It's important to do. Then um, after I did the Syrian cut and deal at 9-11, at 9-23, the chariot card fell out, but it was upright. The chariot's upright in the underlying energies, but during the rest of the read, it was reversed. But it has a purpose there. So that was of significance as it fell out to be seen. The read was finished at 9-29 to 9-30, which is the 29 of the Three of Wands being present, and then the 30 of the Four of Wands, the union, the home, the stability, the heart, the celebration. So being present to that gift. And the, the major arcana here, or the lovers, ascension, ascension's the world here in this deck, the star card, and then after the read, I pulled uh, four cards on either four extra cards on either side today, and after the read was the strength card, but that was it. Lovers, ascension, and star, shining your light, and then the strength card at the end. Um, just a quick briefing of all the other card, the other decks. We have the Syrian 
Star Seed is the main deck, but we also have the Mini Rider Weight as clarifiers, both up and down the Tarot of Sexual Magic, which are all upright. The Gilded Tarot, which is upright in reverse. The uh, Golden Universal, which is just upright. We have the Romance Angels. We have the Numerology cards. Is that all of them? I think so. And then for the 12 signs, we have the Rider Weight. I'll do the Kipper for sure. I don't know if I'm going to do the Toff yet. We'll see how long it takes. And then the mini Rider Weights I clarify with. So we'll get to that when we're finished here. So the Divine Masculine Reed had three swords, two cups, and three pentacles. There were no wands at all today, which was interesting because during the business week, the Masculine almost always has wands. But there were none today. Three swords, two cups, three pentacles. The... Uh, court cards were just the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. The Knight of Wands was after the read there. And that was it. There were triple sixes here. We had double tens, double threes, and double twos. The code line was all about spirituality or spiritual partnership, health, personal growth, patience, and self-discipline in those things. And the number on that code line was 16, but first it was six. Sixth and then ten six sixteen. So six was a common theme here as well as the triple sixes. So very much about the lovers and love family and community. The number uh, ten ten two came up and eight and I wrote them next to each other. That's the twenty eight of the twin flames, the date of the new moon. Twenty two is the fool. Thirty three is the seven of wands. Standing up for yourself without reacting or being defensive or getting triggered. Uh, one two three jump. <laughs> and definitely it's about jumping today and then we have 12 of the hangman and wisdom six seven eight lay them straight <laughs> give it to them straight 23 is the king of wands 36 is the ten of wands right you might just have a little a bit of work left to do and then 68 is the page of pentacles the student the learning something new starting over again 610 came up as well as 67 which is the knight of pentacles and 78 the ten of pentacles that dream family energy so again it was spiritual partnership health and the health of your spiritual partnership personal growth patience as always and then self-discipline in all of these things the code line was very simple there wasn't much to get here uh, there's the couple messages that there were were at 10 the queen of cups lover or loves in her spiritual partnership her health personal growth patience and self-discipline and this is a message for the masculine at 10 so maybe it's at 10 and the 10 and 2 came up the other day which is 10 10 and 150 so maybe it'll be six of one and half a dozen of the other so at 10 the queen of cups lover um, and also Athens came up with the Queen of Cups and the Sophia Nine, the lovers, and the Six of the practical side of things, the love, family, and community. Also a Titan, Queen of Cups. So she's got to be a ball buster as the lover, the Sophia Nine, the leader in the etheric realm. And then um, it was coming up as a joke. Jesus was saying, this is not me, but a teat. Not a Jesus, but the Queen of Cups, the feminine. At the height of connect and sense, toggling up and using your senses, your sixth sense, the queen of cups lover. And this is saying this to the divine masculine. She is your feminine side, the more etheric side. The masculine's the more grounded side. It's talking about the height of the connecting of the two of you and the sensing of the two of you in order to come together as lovers in the physical. The Six of Swords is reversed in the beginning of this read. Then we have the Ace. This is the Ace of Pentacles. And then we had two threes, the Three of Orbs, the Three of Flames, and then the Six of Flames, which is the Journeyman. And then we have the Six of uh, Swords on top, or Six of or Orbs in the Syrian Starseed deck. In need of peace, new life, healing, present and leading the way. The end of an emotional cycle, walking away and within, or coming in just before dawn, or getting up for a walk before the sunrise, or walking into or away from a deception, or into the new moon, the Leo, ego, or strong person provides the truth. 
The page of wands reversed, uninspired and without peace. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. The Knight of Pentacles offers help or a proposition as the chariot rolls in to not using intuition when not in a peaceful place. An offer to take the show on the road now that the secret's out or to develop the secret passion. The Knight of Pentacles and the High Priestess polarized, one all about practicality and the other spiritual realms. But don't forget, you mirror each other in every way. One projects and the, other, the others are wounds to clear. The Divine Master looking for the key that fits to unlock his next wings. Scouring the countryside to find Cinderella, the green dress in tow, armor on, chest plate, headband for workout, and showing arm muscles and no skin. All muscle under a starry night. Against the city skyline or just trying to get the Viking princess, who's not using their intuition, a bit of a nudge or a push to let go of their, their uh, Torah or cross or open their mind a bit to see the world in a different way or need to um, get her out of his way because she's blo literally blocking his way or his path or trying to anyway. Um, this high priestess or Viking princess is very polarized. The knight of pentacles is not and seeking peace. The Page of Swords spreading the word to the Emperor openly, while the Page of Pentacles shows the Emperor a new angle of energy. So kids may be competing for the Emperor's attention, and that was 1001. So at 1002 and 1001 is the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. At 1002 is the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess, so them coming together in their abilities. The Emperor's attention, um, those kids trying to get it, and then the Empress reversed, focused on breakup and no affection. Caramel boots match legs out in the countryside, showing off a tan while they still have a bit of color. Strawberry fields forever, heart on the ground, or hanging on a, a sukkah or a grass hut. Red, white, green, and gray, hay, dry grass, straw overhang, island, Maui came up, Paui, dowry, Salary, salary, no lover to show her legs off to, or vacillating where to go. Kids are up and going, but the Empress Reversed is wanting to stay in bed. The Emperor possibly taking the kids so that the Empress Reversed can get some rest. Retreat comes up as the underlying energy, and beneath that was playfulness. The King of Pentacles Reversed, rehearsing in detox, or the Capricorn just not good today, Possibly withdrawal of big love of work, because he's a workaholic, or withdrawal of big love at work. Instead, now Sagittarius Alki, or spell worker, or moody teens, uninspired, or child frustrated having tantrums, if doesn't get their way. Big love by the logs, or pots on the wall, copper kettle, heavy metal, herb and spices simmering to settle, or powwows, who's the mostest? Kids playing around with spells they found. Sagittarius female mad about sexual frustration or divine masculine holding back passion at work from her. Or a sag girl or employee or coworker who's plotting on seducing her boss, hopefully not putting something in his drink. It looks like she could be, so divine masculines, uh, pour your own drinks for now. Someone is bent on getting your attention to distract you away from the flame again. Maybe a young lady, possibly hot to trot, assumes she can get you an easy mark. Or just teens acting too grown up with boys, or drinking drugs, etc. Or too just enveloped at home, uh, at the park or spa, just can't get enough, leaving their heart on the floor to get stepped on, being vulnerable in other words. Or Divine Masculine playing games again, flirting with others, others in front of the Divine Feminine on purpose, or in front of the Karmic perhaps, with someone at work. Definitely jealousy um, of a female here, up to something. So the female's jealous and up to something. They're in a pissy mood. Um, karmic completion came up here, which is number 10, the Wheel of Fortune, the Destiny. 
beneath karmic completion was individuality, which is number 11, justice. Home, dressing a roof, dragonfly hanging around, or mosquito, or mosquito nets, annoying pests. At work, co-creating, female with an attitude, or cancer person, or someone could have cancer as well, in a bold move to dominate. The hermit reversed, or Virgo, power, powerless and clingy, says she, but the devil comes in, arrives. Five-star accommodations, Texas cowboy, Italian horny, or red eyes on fire, burning hot at 1026, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Wands. Someone's been working out and showing off, female in chariot above this, saying, who does he think he is? God's gift to women, uh, clingy or dead tired at work, isolates at home, and then what the heck, all of a sudden he comes out, ready and willing and able, a stud, to render her powerless to his charms. Chariot female saying, does he really think this works on women? With her sarcastic hand out and snark on her face, she's no ring Kelly Grace. The dog's out on the hunt and hounds of hell. Gold and platinum, no silver for this hot mama. Eight pack ready and temperament steady like Christmas morning before the parents are up. On your marks, Y marks, at the Y in the road, not X's. Get ready for Betty, set but not in stone, and go directly home, do not pass go, or get distracted by home, hotels, or casino purchases or utility facilities. There will be no peace tonight, left of the pie, the safety pin armed in a vacuum, fully charged and not gonna let go. Looking at all pieces of the pie, American pie, let freedom ring around the roses with a pocket full of poses. Ashes, ashes, twin towers to twin flames. The name of the game is chariots of fire. No liars allowed. Only allowance and presence. <laughs> the devil, and that was at 1044. Then the Wheel of Fortune and 44 is the Four of Cups. The mastering, grounding, and integrating. The devil is in a lack or peace, lack of peace, or lack of intuition or affection, frustration, or karmic completion. Karmic completion. Car, mic, calm, plea to toggle up with ion connection. If Metatron doesn't get into a competition with Michael, that is, or Michael strung out on sweets here in 3D, you know his sweet tooth uh, can really unground him and cause him to lose feathers. That he will need to dust when he cl cleans up for the masculine afterwards. And that was at 1051, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords. So recently, the Divine Masculine depressed recovering to strategize and implement the end of stress, purging, and tenting to awaken powerless sealed divine feminine. The foundation is the world, that sealed divine feminine. With the earth in the right hand and extreme focus and intent, coming clean with the king of wands reversed, with back turned to him as she explains about the retreats, the no affection, and the secret passion, and this is at 1055, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you, love. So centrally is the lovers. The king of cups facing grieving one in their knowing, working on hammering it out with news and messages, spreading the word, or showing children how to. The challenge being the Queen of Cups juggling in their low vibration, going there, drama when frustrated, losing steam or inspiration, or not getting your way. So when you come together, you may get triggered and offer your lower energy. When there's no option but to blow your top, let it be within as opposed to without. No option but to blow that crown and offer a new life to pay for pain and suffering, punitive damages. Or watch out for that lowball offer, still trying to get one over on you, still in competition mode. Chariots lose fire as left feminine bull leaves the tent, moving out after holding things up in a painful ending and or betrayal. The Queen of Swords 
meets the Grim Reaper, cross-dressing, cross-bow and obsessing, long hair and undressing, grieving transformation or an actual death or end, and suddenly able to burn the past openly with new passionate growth, raring to get out. Double the trouble, both been holding back, the messenger of truth or knight in shining armor coming in for a landing uh, too long without affection. And the queen of wands reversed, sent him packing or sent the kids away to try to break him her favorite game. Now the king of swords reversed, already knowing she's full of bull, in divorce, becoming more spiritual, him becoming more outside the box. The Queen of Cups hiding patiently from Taurus or Sag, King of Swords reversed, the Knight of Wands rushing in after meditating with Dream Girl and Devil, rising up, levitating to move forward and offer a hand. But why is he reversed? Depressed, loss of hope, and negative self-talk, or worried the Queen of Pentacles is on the warpath or moving away, manifesting with DNA to connect, still stuck in their emotions, as the Queen of Swords, um, she could be closed off or surrendering to start over in love and not settle this time. So it could be, you know, one or the other. The masculine's not sure. So that's, this is, a, you know, makes him a little bit tentative or ungrounded. So suddenly jealousy and transformation, elation, grieving her sunshine, because there ain't no sunshine when he's gone. The King of Cups approach is better than that King of Swords, to gently burn the past and alchemize it into passion. Take the energy stealing prison and alchemize it into each other where it belongs. The messenger of truth and knight in shining armor, the king of wands exhausted wounded warrior in surrender about to poop out. So maybe just story time tonight and cuddling. The dove and the goat outside the window and that's at 1119, justice and the sun. Soon is the Eight of Pentacles, aligning with desires. After battle is over, lose or win, the messenger of truth on a mission to justice, truth and balance, divorce or Libra unhappy, letting go to repair with less than before, hard for the King of Swords reversed to let go of his pride. But the gate is wide open to expressing feelings back and forth and energy exchange. The magician embodiment with sealed divine feminine under the new moon. Sudden rapture or low blow, it's all up to you to let it go. And bridge across troubled waters, even if choppy, falling on face, grace, or lacking faith, to keep chipping away at it and cracking those codes and stars and smiles. Fixing her chipped nail or painting your toes, all a release from the prison of long ago wounds. The Divine Masculine is seeing himself as the Ten of Swords. He knows pain and betrayal. Back and spine pain, massage and acupuncture, chiro treatments, or trips. Detoxing the chaos and drama, addictions and codependencies, with the Queen of Pentacles upright and grounded, coming together at work with third party or no party to get some much needed attention and lead the way. Children come up for the masculine here and separation and soulmates and to express your love. So when children come up in this deck, it's about them affecting your love life. And they shouldn't because you should come first in your life. And then you take care of your children just like on the airplane. Children, separation, soulmate, and expressing your love. Around the Divine Masculine or how he is seen is the Ten of Cups reversed. In the end of an emotional cycle, the Hermit or Virgo sheds light on energy exchange of twins, Kiros Gamos, or a dress rehearsal to dull the sword of transition, Excalibur, the six shooter, or eight that is, clear blocks of inequity, unfairness, sharing, and making it up to each other to stay balanced amidst an array of synchronicities orchestrated only for you. In secret passion, secret out, bridging the gap, damn it, Janet, Rocky Horror Picture Show, a place of another dimension where everyone is allowed to be themselves. Spiritual partnership, health, and he uh, Heath Bar was coming up here for someone really likes Heath Bars. Spiritual partnership, health, personal growth, patience, and self-discipline. The nightmare is over as the Knight of Pentacles comes in with fruit or a pear, a ploy to see your hand. 
Surrendering to all that he is, the wounded warrior in complete surrender, in breakup, no affection, Gabriel standing by if you ask them. The Queen of Wands busy firing someone, sending them away, or looking for someone to save, or pitying, pitying the fool, <laughs> pitying the twins out in the cold, not understanding the connection we have. Surrender to dysfunctional family or family loss, hearing the call, the announcement on loudspeaker, doing some final chores or workouts to release. The burden of rejection, vulnerability, and shyness. And this was at 1141. The justice and the 41 is the ace of cups, that new love. Holding back passions, worried about falling short, or feeling intimidated if she is in soldier mode, still healing, but ready to forgive. Strong tiger with the eye on the prize, tunnel vision, television, laser vision on a mission, one flame at a time, slowing it down to come clean about everything so all is out on the table in one shot to get it all over with and heal. Out of options, but to get real about two flames merging into one. Frustration prior to offer of love, anticipation, and a nervous stutter perhaps. Dark night prepared to walk away if needed or transform completely. The King of Pentacles reversed, moving, ending marriage, defenseless to energies of destiny, now upright. The Queen of Wands is still reversed, but present to the fact that the Knight of Cups today is now offering love to someone else. Whose chariot is stuck and has no one there to share with and their sunshine is gone. He is headed there to turn them all upright again. So stuck in emotions of completion, the world by the balls, painful ending and betrayal done and over with very soon. Emotional cycle complete, just with some final touches. Loss of hope without lover, challenged by the Queen of Cups. Ain't got no sunshine when she's gone. Working to align and right the wrongs. Sit on her seesaw. Her, here's, <laughs> working to align, right the wrongs. Sit on her seesaw. Hearsay, come what may. The King of Swords reverse surrenders his thoughts, his words, and his logic. Stuck in a funk recently, but devil's food cake is on fire. Completion and completed and sealed divine feminine without affection as the king of swords reversed is longing for the queen of cups, dreaming in the reflection on her glass or goblin, end to pain and fear and aligning with desires or Desiree, done emotional cycle as inequity is corrected with the wheel going forward. It's forward now in this read and that the new moon surrender. Tiger's eye holding back charge, cunning clean at the Y in the road, choosing just to the left. So that's your read. And now we're gonna go on to the really beautiful. We're gonna go on to the 12 cards. So I'm gonna show you the cards on the table and I'll show you the 12 cards and then we'll pull some more. So there's that six of swords in the underlying energy. Recent past is that star card. Underlying energy is the world, the ascension card in this deck. Center of the read is the lovers, which you can't see much. It's all the rainbow colors. The challenge being the sage of chalices. And there's some more underlying energies going to the crowning position, which is that king of swords. You see him in the window like area. Then we bridge across here to the near future position of the eight of crystals working to align. The masculine seeing himself as that ten of swords or orbs in this deck. You have the romance angel cards there. And around the masculine is the ten of cups, which is reversed. So all the tens are coming up to end. The masculine needs to clear blocks of the six of crystals, which is, uh, is reversed. It's like the six of pentacles in order to uh, rebalance okay, the inequities. And then we end up there on the two of pentacles, but in this deck it's all about surrender. The strength card is above that upright, and then the Knight of Wands, as you can see, to the left is reversed, but that's also the Knight of Wands with the flame there. And then we have the Seven of Swords reversed above that in the balloon. In a beautiful balloon, right? So somebody's gonna go up in a balloon. And then we have the two, they can't see the two flames, but that last card is the two flames, the twin flames, and that's upright. Or is it upright? It might be reversed, which is actually okay, because that's like the, uh, 
the two flames merging into one at the Y in the road. So then we end up there, you see, on the Knight of Cups, all right, on top of the Queen of Wands reversed, offering his love to the one who's a little upside down right now so that he can turn those three cards upright, which would then be the Chariot upright, the Six of Pentacles, corrected, and the Sunshine here instead of not, okay? And then we have the uh, all 12 signs here. The top cards are the underlying energies. Uh, the Two of Swords there is Aries going across down to Pisces, which is the double reversed. And then we have some summary cards as well, and I'm going to pull a bunch more. So let's just get right into it. There ain't no sunshine when he or her is gone. It's, we've had a lot of nice sunny days. The weather's just beautiful right now. Sorry about my leg in the picture, but you'll just have to deal with it. I, I haven't even dressed yet, so. Sorry about my messiness, but then again, I'm not. All right, so. As I said, we have... Uh, the cards, as I said, this is the fifth card down, is that Knight of Cups again, just like the, the uh, read ended on. And then this is the water sign, so we have the Five of Wands here, and then we have the Sun reversed here above the air sign. The Four of Pentacles reversed above the earth signs, and then the King of Pentacles above the fire signs. So, and I love it because this stuff doesn't worry me at all. Actually, I I felt the energy was good, even though there's a lot of reversals there. So we'll see what comes up with the other cards. But we end up here, and we end up at the end here at the Wheel of Fortune upright. So it's really perfect. It's going with the, the new moon. As the new moon comes in, everything's correcting itself right now. Because we've had a lot of negative energy over the past month. The cards have been reversed all month. And for me, knowing that, you know, the month before your birthday is the downtime of the year for your sign. So there can be a lot of you know, down energy during that time. And then the month of your birthday afterward is like the high time of the year. So let's see what we have for Aries through Pisces, all 12 signs for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? We're clearing all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities and filling with only beautiful, organic love and diamond light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath, you guys. All right, this is the Kipper deck. For Aries to Pisces, today is September 24, 2019. Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. Okay, that's it. All right, so for Aries, we have, oh, they're upside down. We're not doing them upside down. I don't read these in reversals. They're only, yep, yeah, upright. So this is a mature woman for Aries. On the Two of Swords, uh, for Taurus, we have the family room on top of the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Then for Gemini, we have the Coffin on top of the Six of Cups reversed. And then for Cancer, we have the False Person on top of the Six of Wands, the Journeyman. For Leo, we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Pathway. And I love that Pathway with the butterflies, it's so pretty. Then we have for Virgo, the Wealthy Man on top of the Five of Cups reversed, which the Five of Cups is the energy today being that we're just, we're, we're in Libra now, but we're just coming out of Virgo energy too. So, and we're on Virgo there. Um, the day is 24, but it adds up to that um, 45, which is that five of cups. So it's showing that it's reversing the energies, which is actually good. That means you're getting over whatever your issues are. So then we have the, the wounded warrior for Libra with the main male. So we have the wealthy male, and I'm losing my voice. So this, this person needs to speak because I'm just losing my voice. The wounded warrior main male, Libra, needs to speak their truth. And then we have then we have Scorpio, which is mature. Look at that, mature three in a row. So they may actually have all, like the one person can have all three of those signs in their chart. Because this is we have the wealthy man, the main man, and then the mature man all together here. And that's for Scorpio on the moon reverse. So that's like the new moon. So wow, three men right there. So they could be like your variety of masculines right there <laughs> in, the, in the Virgo, the Libra, and the Scorpio. And then we have um, Sagittarius has the journey with the three of swords reversed. Capricorn has the thief with the 10 of pentacles because that kind of energy draws the thief, right? Because they have a lot of money. And then we have Aquarius is the great fortune 
with justice reversed. So something that's unfair, like you might have great fortune, but something else doesn't go your way. And then with um, Pisces, we have the devil reversed and imprisonment. So that doesn't look good, but we'll see what's coming up with that. So, so there could just be someone who had a fight or just imprisoning yourself in detox as well. All right, then I always pull a card for everyone, which is despair today. Which is no fear though, because we're coming out of this energy. I'll pull one more card just so you have more. Oh, see, there you go. Sudden wealth. After the despair comes, you know, the calm before the storm. One more. And then there's trial energy as well, okay? Oh, that's the masculine and the feminine. They're little kids together. That's so cute. All right. The bottom of the deck is unexpected income. And beneath that is some concern and the masculine thinking about the feminine. Okay, so this concern could be anyone. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be the masculine, but it could be someone else as well. So someone would be concerned about where this unexpected income came from. So whoever's getting the income could be a father concerned, a husband concerned, a wife concerned, whatever it is. But these are the energies. He's The masculine's thinking about this person. Could be this person or that could be the other person. And then someone has a concern about where the uh, income's coming from. So that's just the underlying energy. Then we have the, we'll pull some from the Thoth deck too. We have time, right? It's only 36 minutes here. All right, so this is Thoth. Any messages for them today? Any little funnies? Thoth has humor like my dad's. It's very dry. My dad, Thoth is funnier than my dad though because my dad's jokes weren't usually very funny. <laughs> he was very dry. But Thoth has a very similar energy to my dad. I see him like the, you know, he's the the bird-headed man. And um, I always see him like running back and forth across the classroom at the podium, you know. So um, so energized and excited about what he wants to talk about. You know, kind of a little bit like the wacky professor. But, but fun, with a sense of humor. He reminds me of a couple doctors I worked with at Penn, actually. All right. So take a deep breath, you guys, for the best and highest of all those concerned watching. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? And this is for September 24, 2019. Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. What do we need to know? <sighs> Aries to Pisces. Okay. So for Aries, we have the Aeon or Eon, the judgment card, the 20. Then for Taurus, we have the star. Beautiful. Then for Gemini, we have dominion, which is like the two of wands, the twin flames. Then we have, I was getting like dark shadows too with that coffin, <laughs> which is kind of funny actually. Uh, so then we have fortune reversed for cancer. Okay, so it's like the wheel of fortune reversed, which is just could be just bad timing. And then we have Leo, lust. Okay, so that's the, um, that's 11 in this deck, because it's like the Leo, like some, some decks have justice and the strength card reversed. So this one's 11 in this deck, it's like, it's lust, but it's like the strength card. You know, ego and Leo and all that, and it's on Leo. Then Virgo has princess of dis reversed, so it's like a page of dis, but the feminine, that's princess, with the wealthy man. And then Libra has... The Magus, or the Magician, number one. And then we have Scorpio as the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, so it could be holding back passions or feeling like they're going to fall short. That could be a one-night stand energy, too. But I'm not really getting it with those cards there. Um, Journey is uh, Sagittarius, and that's Luxury. This is the Four of Cups, which I don't usually get as Luxury, but that's what they do in this deck. So it's having the luxury really to be bored because the Four of Cups is usually about apathy, you know, not feeling it. Then we have Capricorn as the universe, which is the 21, the world. And then Aquarius has Valor, but reversed. And again, this is the Seven of Wands. So it's feeling defenseless. It's not standing up for yourself or others. That's Aquarius. And then the devil reversed on Pisces with the prison. Imprisonment has gain, which is nine of dis. That's like the sovereign card. And that's really beautiful. 
It's so well balanced. Okay, and pretty colors too. Okay, so one for everybody, which is ruin, but it's reversed. That's so getting out of prison. It's actually the Ten of Swords. So it's literally the bliss. It's the worst is over. So this is great with the inner children here. That's so cute. Those two little ones go so perfectly together. Okay, it's just like the Six of Cups in the garden, two coming together, the masculine and feminine inner child. Um, just one more. You have Ace of Discs too. Oh, that's really beautiful. That's the offer of a new life. Complete contentment in the traditional deck. And then um, there's just some last like things to tie up here. Like, but this is like union energy, guys. Like, I mean, there's no way around it. We have, um, am I done with this? Yeah. The Queen of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Cups upright. All right, so there's two different queens or this could be the same person. Um, who's just uh, in negative self-talk or, or giving someone the silent treatment, or they're two separate people. But there's sorrow here between them. That's the three of swords, all right? So this is the masculine and the two women. One's the queen of swords, one's the queen of cups, but the queen of swords is reversed. And then the power, the four of discs, which is the divine masculine's heart for me in the Syrian star seed deck, is behind all of that. And then the devil energy was in the read today as well, so that's perfect. Divine Masculine's heart, the devil energy of coming forward sexually, the sorrow of the three-way situation, and then the, the two women. All right, but the Queen of Swords is there at the bottom. Um, that could be someone who's lying or just, they could be silenced or just negative self-talk. It doesn't have to be bad, but it could be someone who's verbally abusive as well. All right, so we're going to start clarifying now with the Rider Waite Mini. Okay, so it's just the traditional Rider Waite Mini. And see where we go. We're going to start with the Fire Signs and Aries. And see what we have here. Take a deep breath with this deck. Okay. So for Aries, we start with the Two of Swords and the Mature Woman and the Aeon Eon the 20 of the judgment card. So this is someone for me is either in their knowing or the opposite. They're pretending not to know, you know, because ignorance is bliss. If they know something, then they have to deal with it. And they don't want to because then they have to research more information to get to the truth because they're not using their intuition. If you use your intuition, you're connected to your higher self, then you already know. You don't need anything more than that because you're balanced. The mature woman and the judgment. So this could be a final judgment that comes in. She could be judgmental or she could be in her knowing and announcing things. Um, it also could be that call to action. It actually is very positive energy there. But we have the King of Pentacles above there for the fire signs, reversed, which means he could just be ungrounded. He could have lost money and status recently or he could be a very greedy man. So there's a lot of different energies that can come up with that. For Aries, what do we have here? The Two of Swords. The judgment and mature lady. Okay, we have the page of cups reversed, the justice card, and the five of swords reversed. So this is justice amidst, this can be a lot of different things too. This can be rejection, it can be vulnerability, it can be a spoiled brat, right? It can be someone who's used to getting their own way so they whine about everything or they complain because they want their way. But it also can just be somebody who's very shy, it could be, it's a, you know, it's childlike baby energy, you know. They have a very open heart, so they get their um, feelings hurt very easily. But it's justice amidst this, and this is the end of the war. So the PTSD, a rejection amidst a divorce or justice, or this could be Libra amidst the war with their kids, <laughs> or the war with everyone, and then there's one kid here, okay. So this is Aries. There's also someone up night, up night not able to sleep or crying. Or someone's just happy that the war is finally over, you know? But there's definitely some rejection here or just a lot of vulnerability over here. Uh, but there's justice. It's fair. All is fair in love and war is what I'm getting right here. Um, and then the hermit's reversed. So someone who was over-isolating is now going to come out to end a family cycle, but all is well, Okay. And then we have the lovers reverse. So there's definitely a breakup involved there. Let's see again for Aries. 
okay? So there is a lot of vulnerability and trauma after the war, but this is a final judgment's done. She seems very balanced with it. She feels like it's fair, but maybe the King of Pentacles does not think it's fair. And that could be the other person, or it could be somebody outside the situation who doesn't think it's fair, who's just putting their two cents in. But it's definitely like PTSD stuff. All right. Leo has Queen of Cups reversed. The underlying energy, though, is Queen of Cups upright. Um, pathway. And this could be Tears of Joy as well. But we have the King of Pentacles up top there, and he doesn't usually come out in a positive way. I mean, he doesn't have to be bad. It could just be ungrounded, so it doesn't have to be a bad person, but he can be. He can be a really greedy, mean person. That all he cares about is money. But the Queen of Cups is reversed on the pathway with all the butterflies to make her feel better. And there's that lust of, it's not the devil though, it's the strength card lust about ego. So maybe she got her ego hurt by the King of Pentacles because she's sensitive. Or she could be manipulate, manipulative because she's lusting after someone. So let's see what cards come up for that, for Leo. What do we have for Leo? All right, Leo has the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Pentacles reversed. So being present, and for me, this, is, this can be a lot of things too. It could just be getting ready and preparing for a new start. This can be holding back a new start, holding back money, trying to magnetize more money, can be hanging out and playing ball or hiding money too from someone. But there's some kind of delay as well in this new beginning. And this is about recovery. So if they need time to recover. Um, it, can, it doesn't have to be money. It can just be practically someone might be injured or just need to rest. But being present in the moment. So just really seeing it for what it is. So the Queen of Cups may just be recovering from whatever it is she's sad from. Um, may have had a heartbreak with the lusting situation. But there's justice here with that because it's the 11, even though it's the strength card in this deck because she's on her path. Like she's, she's just start, she may just be starting her, her journey of recovery or she's still trying to manipulate the situation. Okay. This is someone uh, uh, who's one night stand energy or could be Someone holding back their passions while they're recovering um, or, you know, feeling like they're falling short because they've been left out in the cold or abandoned, left behind, you know, exiled from the group. So there's some sad energy here. But it's okay because she's just on her way. She could have been hurt by the King of Pentacles reversed or she could have hurt him or both. So then we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the Three of Swords reversed, so healing, forgiving, on the journey. So they there's a connection between Sagittarius and Leo because they both have that path, the journey. And then luxury of the Four of Cups, having the luxury of doing nothing, right, or being apathetic, having the luxury to be bored where other people don't have the luxury to be bored because they have to find food or a place to be warm. So this is the Three of Swords, and now that's becoming winter here anyway. Um, you know, people are going to start looking for places that are warm to sleep because it's not going to be warm outside anymore. All right, so healing on the journey, grounding, mastering, integrating, the luxury of being able to be still for the moment. So uh, really have gratitude for that. And this could be that King of Pentacles up top there, just feeling ungrounded, but having the luxury to be able to be still or maybe take a trip to heal, help heal himself. And help forgive himself and forgive others. You know, ground and integrate. Time to be bored. So Sagittarius has judgment reversed. The five of cups reversed, which came up on Virgo as well. So there may be a connection there, whether it's the same person or they're just connected. So, you know, this is vacillating, um, deliberating, poor decisions, bad decisions or judgments. But now coming out from feel not feeling sorry for yourself anymore or getting over grief could be legitimate grief. But it also could be just stalling, not letting go of the past, but finally letting go of any loss, grief, regret, shame, guilt, feeling sorry for yourself. Sometimes that apathy of the Four of, of Cups is just feeling sorry for yourself. So it's like getting over yourself, but you're still vacillating here. 
there's some frustration because you're staying at the Y in the road. Okay? Because if, if you're staying at the Y in the road and you have this, this means you're pretending not to know. Because this person that they're knowing wouldn't be at the Y in the road. Okay? So that's Sagittarius. So that's why he's taking a journey maybe to help him figure things out. And then there's, oh, there's stability, union. Okay? Could be a wedding and a, or a celebration as well. Perform, maybe a performance. Maybe someone's traveling to perform. Or just learning, like re, recreating new new good patterns, you know, to, to dance with. So that's um, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius could be the king of pentacles up top there. Maybe taking a break, a vacation, a journey, just to be by themselves and figure things out in the aftermath of heartbreak or separation. And then we have... The earth energies with the four of pentacles up top, which can just be letting go or spending some money to make repairs or letting go to make amends with other people. The queen of pentacles is reversed for Taurus and then the family room is empty so she may be alone and then the star is here. So this could be Aquarius energy. And what do we have here? Do we have any majors? No. They're all swords, weren't they? No, Queen of Cups. Okay. Not a lot of swords there for the fire sign. Not a lot of fire in the fire signs row. So the Taurus, um, she could be sitting in this living room seeing that there's no one there. Um, but we have the star card, and it's upright. So she's healing, and she's letting go, trying to fix things, maybe doing some work around the house to make herself feel better, to shine her light the way things she would like them to be. And... Um, just learning what her dreams are. So that's what I'm getting for Taurus. So let's see what the the mini clarifiers come up with. All right, that popped right out. All right, but at least she's free. So she may not have everything that she had before, but she feels free. Right, she has the whole house to herself. Um, she may not be happy yet about it. Um, and she could be with kids. Or maybe she's free from the kids. Or this could be the twins, too, that... She may not be with the Divine Masculine anymore, but she's free to do whatever she wants. And may, she may be very happy that she has the kids, but she may just be exhausted right now because it's been a long battle. And then here is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This could be the twins, you know, taking, making a, taking a strike, right, that break. Um, this can be stubborn energy, but it can be refusing to move or work, but it can be also unable to move or work or just choosing to be still and not having to work and this can be a mother though thinking that the kids are lazy okay so there's a couple different things but it's all about them having the house to themselves and now she can do what she wants but she's still ungrounded or feeling like she lost money so she doesn't have or now she's all about money because she's just going to spend on herself there's nobody else she has to answer to that's the energy too that's kind of Taurus-y to want to spend money, right, on a house. So, And this is very Taurus-y, too. So, but after this is the Two of Cups, so there's a connection there. Okay? So whether the connection is the twins here or the connection is with the kids and the Queen of Wands, which now sets her free. Either way, there's positive energy because there's healing there. All right, then we have the Virgo with the, the Five of of cups reverse, which I think that was on uh, Sagittarius, with the wealthy man and then the princess of discs reverse. So it's like the page of pentacles, but reversed, someone in need of help or money or an opportunity. Um, or it could be a kid who's a bad student or just always in need of help or thinks they always need help to get started, but they don't. They just need to learn to help themselves. But they can use a hand, you know, to get them started with that. But letting go of feeling sorry for themselves. Or this is someone who's a wealthy man now who was a poor student when they were a child, and he's going to get over himself and teach others how he did what he did. So that's really positive there. We have someone letting go, letting go of some money, even if they don't have a lot right now, they can share their experience. That's perfect. So why does Virgo have these cards? <sighs> what more do we need to know about Virgo? All right, so there's an inequity here. So someone has debt to pay, or they've given too much, all right? So they're getting real about their options, um, activities, things the kids love, things they love. You know, maybe they like to do too many things or spend their money a, a, a lot 
giving to others too much, you know, spending on things too much. <laughs> and we have the King of Pentacles there. So he's got the means to do it because he's upright there. So he's just scaling back on what he really needs. And maybe it's just because he doesn't feel like he needs it anymore after going through the journey, right? Seeing what's important to him. But he's still very stable there. Okay. He's learning to be more present. Or maybe he's he is a present or finds that someone else is a present or the present moment is the gift and that he doesn't need so much around him. Okay. So that's Virgo. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles coming after that. So getting ready, like being present to get ready themselves for a brand new life. Recovering and then we go into this energy that we saw before. Right? There's still some falling short in energy. Queen of Wands may be sad or manipulative. This could be one night stand energy, trying to manipulate someone. This could be like karmic energy too, trying to get the masculine to just have sex with them. And this is being defenseless to the energies. But out of options. And taking back what's theirs. So I don't want to keep going for Virgo, but anyway. Letting go to repair things, whether it can be anything in your life. It doesn't have to be money. It could be energy, time, you know, spending time with people. Giving them your energy. So this is Capricorn. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is very Capricorn. And then we had the King of Capric King of Capricorn, the King of Pentacles on Virgo. So they could be related as well. Um, but we have a thief there. Usually this kind of money does draw that kind of energy. The universe is 21. That's the completion. The world is complete. It's like saying, this is just natural. You know, when you have this extreme, then you have this extreme. It's just all part of the world. We're all, the world is all one, okay? It's just the experience of that person. So let's see what else is coming up for Capricorn and why. We have the thief and the wealthy family. We are the world. We are the children. The insecure child who becomes a thief because they had no bread. But there is justice in the land because we are not fighting anymore. Just a little PTSD. <laughs> this is Libra energy. And then again, you know, purging up nights. This could be also crying tears after the war is finally over, but there's still shock in that energy of post-war syndrome, okay? So this could be people crying, kids crying, babies crying, you know, who are hungry. I'm getting we are the world. I'm about to cry now because I'm getting the energy of that. Um, it's not me crying. It's the message coming through. Um, it's definitely, you know, bringing the the people together to sing and 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 um, support things like that. You know, children who have no food to eat and are starving. And it's making me want to cry cry again. <sighs> All right. So that's Capricorn. So Capricorn's going to want work on their on their um, charitable uh, dealings. You know what they really what causes they really want to support after the war is over. You know the kids that really you know that don't even have food to eat. You know what we should start with our children because they need to be taught happiness and joy. Right, so just taking a little bit of what you do have and giving it to others to make you feel better. And then at the same time, it's only do what resonates with you, what makes your heart feel good. Don't give to charities that don't resonate with you. This is um, Gemini, which is the Six of Cups reversed, the Coffin, and then Dominion, which is the Two of Wands. So choosing a path. This could be a path of regret, right, of the past, the negative past. Um, past memories, past lives, anything negative from the past, but this could also be positive in the, just the past returning, um, but coming back to haunt you. Uh, in the two of flames, either your twin flame, or in needing to choose a path, like they mean that haunts you, having to choose things, because it takes you back to things that were difficult to deal with. And this is where I got Barnabas Collins too in Dark Shadows. So again, coming out of the Dark Shadows, the light 
um, maybe revealing, but also maybe difficult at times. So we have the sun reversed there, right? So it wasn't all good because the sun's reversed. So there's some exposure, but there's, you know, people are drained, people are tired, people are sick, sick of things, sick of overexposure, sick of being overradiated. Um, and I'm getting the um, third eye there too with the radiation beams going out from the third eye around the head. Just kind of tired of connecting. So that's coming up for Gemini. Let's see what else is clarifying Gemini. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles upright. Um, the tower is reversed and the magician. So this could definitely be someone in magician embodiment, but it's not so unexpected because they were prepared for it. Could be Heroes Gammas too. This could be a union, like after the fact, like they came into union, or it could be just before union where they haven't gone to Heroes Gamos yet. So it could be literally Heroes Gamos because we have a coffin there. It's like going to another dimension. Yeah, and the, the Six of Cups in the garden reverse could just be the, the positive of the twins in the garden in another world. So this could be very beautiful, actually. But we have the King of Cups reversed here. Okay, so this is someone who's emotionally detached or may have drinking issues. Uh, there's a lot of energies coming in here for Gemini. So we have, this could be a, a daughter with a mother and father. She could be in her magician embodiment or this person could think he's the magician, but he's an alcoholic, so he's just drunk. <laughs> and this could be a wife or a mother as well, but she's reversed too. So these two could have the same alcoholic issues or he's really just emotionally detached or manipulative and she could just be really mean or sick. She could have mental issues as well. Could be, a, you know, a mom who's, who's just sick so she can't do for herself. This person could just be over emotional too. It could be so someone who cries a lot and he's a very sensitive guy. <laughs> okay, so they could be, these could both be too sensitive or they could be alcoholics. So it could be different extremes, but it looks like she's in this environment. She doesn't really want to be in, um, she's dealing with this kind of energy and this at the same time. So it's like the twins when they want to be alone in their own energy and they can't because they're forced to live in this situation. Okay. So maybe someone's stuck with their parents for now, but it's not a great circumstance or, you know, it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be parents. It could be a work environment as well. And the magician could be another person as well. You know, this could be the masculine and feminine. And then this is, but they're not actually there. They're in the etheric realms, but the parents are there. And this can also be where they're there in reality, both staying with the parents. Or a whole work situation. Or anywhere, really. But there's a lot of powerful positive energy and a lot of powerful negative energy there. So it's, it's like the path of trying to balance the zero point. Because that's like the coffin the vacuum of being haunted by the past because you live with the past. You're living with your parents or any kind of past like that. So that's, um, that's Gemini coming up. Or like the Alzheimer's facility where my mother is. She's a Gemini too. Um, so we have um, the wounded warrior here for Libra, the main male, and then the magician here, the Magus. Um, but it's upright. So this is really good energy except the wounded warrior isn't surrendered he's still got a little fight left he's a little suspicious he's a little guarded but he's the main male he's not showing it at all and he is the magician after all so you know but he's got to get rid of this if he's got if he's got this energy underlining it's not going to or underlying it's not going to help him be this because he can't be this if he's this too he's got to let go of those wounds um but he just could be a little bit drained, you know, because he's been, you know, he just has no energy left. So once he gets some sleep and rest, he'll feel brand new and he'll feel great. He'll be in magician embodiment. And I'm losing my voice again. This was the same place I lost my voice before. So Libra, speak up. All right. So this is the energy here. The hero font reversed, the page of wands, and the strength card reversed. So this could be an energy of just a masculine who wants to come forward very excited amidst all this other negative energy. This doesn't have to be negative. It can be very spiritual, thinking outside the box or a divorce. And this could be uh, ego death or feeling weak 
or a Leo out of control, or this is this person or a child amidst these two really negative energies of the Taurus and the Leo. And this person can be the Leo, or it can be the Taurus with, with you know, fire in their sign, and they're just really excited to go out on a date or get out of this place. <laughs> All right, this is Leo, I mean Libra, okay? So this person's excited to get out, and this person's excited to get in, to free themselves and connect. But these, these energies are in the way. And these could be just two people together who are breaking up, but that one of these people is excited to get out. Or this is a child ready to get out. These could be two parents waiting to get their kid out of the house or waiting to have a baby out of the womb to be free again. Okay, but There's definitely a coming together here of two energies. This one needed to get this out of the way. And that could be Leo ego death out of the way so that this one and this one can come together. Okay. And this could be a mother and child who are separated um, trying to get to each other. So this could be her energy there of the Leo reversed trying to free herself from this um, whether she's really pissed off and out of control having tantrums or maybe she needs um, rehab or she's just really exhausted um, and she's trying to free herself to get back to here. Okay, and then we have, these could be kids again. So they definitely could be kids around this Queen of Wands because she came up twice that way with children. Or this can have to do with the twins and this is the karmic going their own way and the twins going a different way. All right, so that's Libra. And again, there's just, there could be some illness there or just really drained energy, overexposed, all that, you know, too much sun, sunburn. And then we have um, Aquarius is justice reversed, so something is not fair, but there's great fortune here. But no one's standing up for themselves, feeling defenseless to the energies or the injustice they were served, even though they, there's great fortune in it. They're just drained. There's no sunshine. It's not like, it's not like everything they wanted. Maybe they got money, but it wasn't the amount. Maybe it is great fortune, but it's not the great fortune they expected. They expected a lot more. Or they got the fortune, but not the love. You know, there's some kind of not, something here where they weren't able to stand up for themselves or they were just defenseless to the energies and the attacks of others. But they're walking away with something really good. They just could be really tired, too. There's a lot of drained energies right now. Aquarius. Okay, so ultimately for Aquarius, it's very good. We have the Knight of Cups offering love and the truth to the Seal Divine Feminine. So this is a union for Aquarius energy. And this is healing and forgiving. The King of Swords who wasn't in their truth. Or this could be legal advice as well. Or someone who's, you know, in negative self-talk or lying. But this is recovering. Could have This could be someone recovering from heart surgery as well. Or any other kind of minor surgeries as well because the heart governs all parts of the body, okay? So this could be a masculine coming forward to a feminine who's dealing with a relative who's just had surgery, or it could be vice versa too. Like this could be the masculine and the feminine could be coming forward here, but he's got his world all wrapped up now. So that's very positive for the Aquarius energy. We do have the King of Swords next to the King of Wands, so there may be some issues still here where they have to drop their burdens. Right, there's some healing that needs to happen between these two people, whether it's a partnership, brothers, friends, whatever it is, father and son. They need to confess and drop their burdens, and then someone's got to walk away. Someone's not resonating with the other. Then we have Cancer, uh, the Five of Wands at the top. We have the Journeyman here. This is about victory, but also it's just good news, getting attention, leading the way. Success. And of course, just like the other one we had where we show the, they showed the polarity of the Ten of Pentacles and the Thief, here we have the one who gets attention and the one who wants attention, right? So they pretend to be somebody else. And here we have Fortune Reverse. So this doesn't get them anywhere, right? Because you get to this to, by being your authentic self. This person is inauthentic, and so the wheel turns down. There's a downturn in Fortune for them. So that's what's coming up for Cancer. You know, you only really sustain good fortune by being your authentic self. But this is like after the battle, or they feel like they lost. So someone's dealing with their pride issues. 
someone won and someone someone always wins and someone loses. That's the game. That's the message right there for cancer. All right, so someone's aligning at work and doing the work, aligning with their true desires. Um, but there's some debt to be paid here, whether it's to society or just to someone else, or maybe someone overgave and someone owes back to them. So depending on which side you're on. But this is about getting real, about you know slimming down, getting rid of stuff, whether it's emotional attachments or attachments to things. It's just about getting real, especially if you owe money, to pay, like selling stuff to pay off your debt. So that's the masked person. So there could be definitely some, um, some jealousy there. Um, the person with the mask on is thinking the other person has it so much easier than they do, but they don't know their story. So it's always balanced. So stop worrying about what the other person's doing and just align with your desires and then you'll have what they have, okay? So this is Cancer. So we have the King of Pentacles again, and King of Pentacles was there with Virgo and also associated with Capricorn, okay? So they have everything they need. They're just working to align with their true desires now. So they may be ch you know, changing path and being present to start a whole new life. All right, then we have Scorpio. Scorpio is the moon reverse. This can be the new moon. It can be deception. It can be the early morning hours before the sun comes up. And we have the mature man and the knight of wands reversed. So again, this can be a one night stand in the early morning hours. Someone might surprise you, the mature man. Or it could be holding back passions to take things one step at a time at the new moon. Or it can be feeling like he's falling, he'll fall short, right? So he's a little scared to come forward. So he may have a little deception in him because he's scared, all right? So that's Scorpio, feeling like, you know, after the battle, are they going to lose the fight? Scare they'll lose? Okay, this is coming up for Scorpio. Uh, in expressing their feelings back and forth or the energetic exchange, arrows of love. There's some impatience there or fallen angel. They may worry they're going to, you know, fall if they feel too much or express too much. And then again, this goes back to the earth signs of letting go in order to fix things up. Right, so this could be also toggling up more as opposed to grounding more. So letting go of some money or energy or time to make something new and creative, to to get rid of this release, this energy release, um, could be about athletics too to help you clear this energy of impatience. This could be having someone losing their temper. <sighs> So this is someone losing their temper, but it's amidst good things. This is There may be too many um, feelings or energies coming at them from this side, and then people wanting them to give money on this side, right? Let go of some of your money. Give it to me. We'll, we'll fix up this. I want this for the house and put this up. And they're like, you're, they're being pulled in both directions. So these, aren't, these are good cards on both sides, but this person is too much. They're losing their temper because it's never about them. They just want peace, but no one's allowing them that peace, okay, whichever way this was. And then we have when he gets out of that, when he just lets go, he can be happy with himself and shine his light. That's really beautiful for Scorpio. It's just impatience is Scorpio's issue here because Scorpios can really snap. This is beautiful, learning to be at peace with themselves. Shine their light, make their dreams come true, and find a peaceful place to go. All right, that's Scorpio. And then we Pisces. Where are we? One, two, three. All right, so we have the devil reverse for Pisces, imprisonment and gain. So that nine of pentacles, which is sovereignty, having everything you need. So why are you imprisoned in this chaos or detox sort of situation? Let's see, and it could be after a battle too, like feeling like you, you, this could be someone who's single and has everything they need, but they feel imprisoned by um, their own or somebody else's addictions or codependencies or the need to win. That's definitely a codependency as well. All right, so Pisces has this. The seven of, again, is about letting go of emotional attachments and just being present. Like this person is good energy. 
They could be just in fear that this person isn't who they say they are, but they are. So Pisces, if you're in question of a guy, he's great. He's present, and he's just trying to figure himself out. He's letting go of his old ways. He's letting go of emotional attachments, attachments to things, superficiality, to just be present in the moment. And he's, gonna, he's getting ready to start a whole new life, but he has to recover a little bit first. You know, he needs to recover his energy. Maybe um, another female in his life who's difficult, whether it's a ex or, or a sister or a mother or a friend. His own feminine emotions of sorrow or manipulation. You know, one night stands. Okay, so defenseless to the energies. They just need to get their bearings again to pull in what's theirs back. You know, find themselves again. The, it's like recovering the pieces of their soul back to themselves. This is Pisces. And it's more for the masculine, but the feminine may be more in prison. They're both in prison because he's working out his issues. And the feminine Pisces, if she's dealing with this man, may be in prison because he's not ready to fully be with her. And again, it's about winning and losing. There's no nothing to win or lose. It's just the journey and love to give. So what else? Okay, and again, these are coming up for Pisces too, the King of Swords and King of Wands. So they need to they, they need to drop their burdens and someone needs to walk away. So it's like detaching. It doesn't mean it has to be for good, but they need to just go to their separate corners and do their own thing for a while until they're ready to come back together. And if they're not, they're not. Okay, everyone's tired and sick and tired. All right, we've got a Queen of Swords reversed here too. There we go. And then the Five of Swords reversed. Everyone feels like a loser. She's reversed. The kids are tired, you're tired, someone's walking away, everyone's dropping their burdens, their responsibilities, confessing whatever, but they're all pissed or tired. Okay. And then all of a sudden, look what happens. Joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Everything gets turned around as soon as someone walks away and you get your own space to just be you again. Okay, so then you can come back together when you feel better. This is definitely a group of people who needs to work things out. Give yourselves your own space, come back together, and then sort out the details of the pain. Any betrayals, whatever it is. And you can do it in a calm fashion. This can also just come, girls getting together for girls day, massage and acupuncture, whatever it is. Okay, surrendering. To come together to co-create with the Queen of Pentacles. See, then it gets really good. All right, so that's all of them. Then we end up at the bottom of this deck with the Three of Swords reverse, which means their healing and forgiving is on. Okay, and the world is complete. The Sealed Divine Feminine is offering truth. And look, we got the, the uh, Knight of Cups comes forward to also offer truth to the Divine Feminine to heal and forgive. Beautiful, unexpected income. Queen of Swords may be, you know, a little bit of negative self-talk, but it's okay. She may be a little scared to talk. Um, and again, here we get getting out of the, it's the bliss of the worst is over. And brand new life is about to begin. And again, it's about this person who's in despair to let go, because this is right here. The Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine in their inner child. This is the one who just freed himself from a rich situation because he would rather be free than not his true self okay and she's already in her knowing just waiting for her her bunny rabbit to come so she can hug him okay triple sevens don't despair know that your job will come when you're authentic to yourself and just allow the universe to work for you be happy okay so that's that and then we have the last of these cards. So the Knight of Cups comes at the bottom here for everybody. With fire, we have ego death. This is about feeling weak, a Leo out of control, or just ego death, letting go of ego altogether. That's probably your best bet there. Then we have Earth, stuck in their emotions without peace. So it's really about Earth getting out of their head. And meditating, connecting again, letting go up top. Then we have air, judgment reversed. Again, they're stuck at the Y in the road. All you guys got to do is make a decision. It doesn't matter which one it is. Just make one. And if you, if you, if you think you've made one, but you still feel like you're at the Y in the road, you haven't really made the decision that you want because your heart's telling you otherwise. Then we have the water. 
and they are very pleased with themselves. Okay, this could be the one who won. <laughs> so as if we read these all together, it's offering love to heal the wounded, the ones who are stuck in their emotion, the ones who are stuck at the Y in the road, and even the ones who are happy with themselves, but they're alone. Being loved can help everyone to become your sovereign self. Even when things aren't complete yet, the divine feminine from another world floating in outer space will come to full circle very soon by dropping the facade, both of them healing, healing and breaking patterns in order to create new ones, that falling is fine. When you trip up, it's good. You always learn from your mistakes because then look what happens when you let go. The wheel of fortune comes in and goes forward in your favor unless you're acting up and you get schooled by the sphinx. That could be a minx as well. But the wheel of fortune's getting turned around. It's been reversed all week and now it's coming up at the full moon. It's actually upright today in the read. It's a really amazing energy, you guys. I love this read, it was beautiful. Drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your joy on. Be okay with everything, the bad and the good, the shadow and the light, it's all you. It's about being human. If you weren't supposed to experience both the shadow and the light, you wouldn't be human in the first place. So it's just allowing it all and just airing to the left just a little bit, just like airing to the side of alkaline as opposed to acidic. Airing to the left just a little bit. Airing to the light as opposed to the shadow just a little bit. Staying at zero point in that vacuum to create that energy to change the toilets, right? Change the poop into something that can actually uh, propel the toilet to work without any sewer system, which is what they were talking about with the Bill Gates show on Netflix. So that was very cool because it's about alchemizing our wounds into creation, which is beautiful. Okay, so it's oh one oh just turned one twenty two. All right, guys, um, you know, be cool with yourselves. Get some exercise, especially if it's beautiful and sunny out. We're not going to have it much longer. Bye.